सो हेलो एंड वेलकम टू दिस डेमो सेशन आई एम सिद्धांत रानडे हाई आई एम मेघ श्याम इन दिस डेमो सेशन विल बी टॉकिंग अबेट अबाउट इमेज प्रोसेसिंग सो अन इमेज इज बेसिकली सेट ऑफ पिक्सल्स सो इट्स बेसिकली अ मेट्रिक्स इन विच यू हैव सम नंबर्स इन साइड सो वेन आई टॉक अबाउट अ ब्लैक एंड वाइट इमेज अ ब्लैक एंड वाइट इमेज हैज यू नो कलर एज वाइट ब्लैक एंड शेड्स इन बिटवीन ऑफ ब्लैक सो वाइट इज टू फिफ्टी फाइव ब्लैक इज जीरो एंड एनी अदर नंबर इन बिटवीन जीरो एंड टू फिफ्टी फाइव इट्स अ शेड ऑफ ग्रे सो वेन वी लुक एट अ ब्लैक एंड वाइट इमेज इट्स अ सेट ऑफ पिक्सल्स एंड इन इट सो इट्स अ मैट्रिक्स इन विच द नंबर्स आर फ्रॉम जीरो टू टू फिफ्टी फाइव एंड इफ इट्स अ कलर इमेज दैट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट देन इंस्टेड ऑफ देर बींग सिंगल मेट्रिक्स यू हैव यू हैव थ्री चैनल्स सो बेसिकली इट्स अ थ्री डिमेंशनल मेट्रिक्स वेर ईच चैनल रिप्रेजेंट्स each channel stores values uh, from 0 to 255 and you have three such channels and uh, each channel represents one of the three colors red green and blue so there are various ways of storing this but rgb is one of the standard ways so uh, each of the these channels as we call them stores one of the layers and uh, each channel has a grayscale image in it so if you have used instagram or uh, you know any other photo editing software you have seen filters like blur motion blur or sharpen image so these are results of uh, convolving the image which we have with the convolution matrix so i this is a practical use of convolution so we'll talk about how uh, this convolution matrix goes so let's say we have a small image you know a 4 cross 4 image it looks something like this so this image is basically whites in between and uh, surrounded by uh, dark uh, pixels and with uh, a little gray here and let's say we have a convolution matrix which looks like this a 3 cross 3 convolution matrix okay now let's say we have a convolution matrix which looks like this now how do we go about applying this matrix on this so let's apply this matrix on say this pixel over here so we center the center of the matrix on this pixel so let's do that i'm just uh, taking out a uh, 3 cross 3 you know boundary across that pixel and i'm placing this matrix at top of this so and what we do is we multiply the corresponding elements you know and add all of them together so what we eventually get is uh, since since these are all zeros only this will contribute so we'll get 255 order here now this this is the same value but uh, if you look at this pixel over here so if we apply this matrix on this pixel we'll get zero i mean this is the one which will be uh, filtered out so this matrix basically results in the uh, picture or the matrix shifting a point to the left a pixel to the left we'll show the uh, you know the graphical representation of this shortly in a demo and uh, let's say you also have how do we introduce blur in the picture you know what a blur is something like you have your camera and then you have shaky hand so you take an image you see that the image is a bit blurred it's not sharp so how do you you know give an example of how the how this blur occurs let's just let's just take a look at it uh, let us take a slightly different image from last time so we have uh, except the the image is same except for this uh, particular pixel over here which is 250 and let's apply this convolution matrix on this pixel over here so we'll multiply the corresponding elements this this and you know so the sum would be you know the rest are all zeros so only these two get picked up which is 255 plus 255 which is 510 but this is out of bounds our pixel values are supposed to be from 0 to 255 only so why is this happening it's happening because we haven't normalized this convolution matrix so normalizing is basically you know take the sum of all these values in between and uh, just one upon sum here the sum is 1 plus you know 0 0 0 and 1 so it's 2 so when you normalize this 
the resultant value will also be into half which is 255 which is you know in bounds. So yeah that is basically a convolution matrix and normalization. Now what this matrix does is it uh, introduces a blur. We will see more of this in the demo which will happen shortly. So you might ask why this is a blur. So uh, it is a blur because if you look at it carefully it is just two shifting matrices. So if you had if you only had that one in the top left corner and zero everywhere else so it in effect you would be shifting your image to the right and downwards and if you only had a one in the bottom right corner you would be shifting your image upwards and to the left and if you take these two images and you superimpose them so you take these two images and you uh, sort of take the average of the two values at each at each corresponding pixels so in effect you are mixing pixels so if you mix pixels it is a blur so that that's basically how you get a blur so we'll see a demo of this thing happening now so now here we have our standard uh, you know the chessboard let's apply the the blur which we were talking about so this is the blur now okay i apply the blur a few times because the image is a huge image and the you know just mixing two nearby pixels over here so let's just compare the blurred image see the blurred image with the the original image you can see that you know the edges are a bit you know away from what they're supposed to be and uh, let's just talk about the shift also which i just said this shifts the image by just one pixel as you can see i'm just keep on applying the shift filters you can see that the image is moving towards the left so that's the shift and there are a lot of uh, convolution things also this is basically the identity filter it does nothing because it just takes the pixel at which the convolution matrix is centered and this is a gaussian blur you know which basically blurs the image as such another different way so you can see the difference between both of them let's load a uh, the standard test image which uh, you know one of the standard test images it's called lena and uh, this convolution matrix over here it uh, sharpens the image which is like you can see what it does exactly so i'll just compare both of them so you can now clearly see that you know the sharpened edges are you highlighted as such here it's uh, the image is a bit more sharp so that's what uh, when you use the camera ed photo editing software and as such this is a edge detection filter it does what it exactly says it detects the edges in the image so you can see you know the hat the hair here the hat the hair you can see the eyes also the elbow and uh, this was a demo which we did in matlab you also can use uh, many open source uh, photo editing softwares we'll just uh, uh, take an example of one of those it's called gimp so we have the okay the koala image here so people you can download gimp it's for free uh, download gimp load your test image whatever you want then go to filters and then go to generic and then you'll have the convolution matrix there so yeah you can play around with this it's a 5 cross 5 convolution matrix i just want to show the uh, the blur image here and uh, now you can see i'm not normalizing this thing here okay so it just has one and one i'm not normalizing this thing so you can see what happens if i don't normalize it so you know the pixels get added and they are walled off at 255 so you see it's losing most of the information in the image so let's go back to the filters the same thing except i'll normalize the filter this time but you know the image is already bad this is go back to the image this is the original image and then yeah this time i'll normalize the filter convolution matrix will have the same thing except i'm normalizing it this time so i'll just put an okay so you can see the image has you know shifted a bit downwards and has a blur because it's the identity and the shifted image added together so yeah people you can play around with this in gimp so yes people you can play around in gimp make your own software in scilab matlab yeah you can uh, play around and i'd like to see more of this discussion happening on the discussion forums thank you very much yeah thank you